गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर फिफ्थ लेसन इन अवर सीरीज ऑन इंग्लिश स्टडीज इन इंडिया हेयर इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट राजा राम मोहन रॉय अ बोल्ड एंड करेजियस पर्सनैलिटी हु स्पेंड हिज होल लाइफ इन एक्चुअली डूइंग द थिंग्स रेदर दैन जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट इट रेदर दैन जस्ट डूइंग कमेंट्रीज लाइक द सो कॉल्ड लीडर्स ऑफ इंडिया डू सो फॉर हिम एक्शन स्पीक्स लाउडर दैन वर्ड्स एंड ही प्रूव दैट सो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हिम एंड हिज वर्क फ्रॉम कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड वट एवर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दीज वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज यू आर गोइंग टू फाइंड ऑल द नोट्स इन एन ऑर्गेनाइज वे फ्रॉम अवर ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट लिमिटलेस लिटरेचर डॉट कॉम चेक द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो टू नो मोर अबाउट अवर स्टडी मेटीरियल सो नाउ विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स कंटिन्यू अवर डिस्कशन ऑन राजा राम मोहन रॉयज एंड हिज वर्कस so radhana mohan roy was that interesting personality he was a bold personality and uh, popularly known for his letter to lord amherst that we have already discussed he he uh, asked the britishers lord amherst to stop investing in sanskrit college because india requires knowledge of modern science that has some practical uses rather than just spreading the religion the caste system in the society so till the age of 12 he studied in a bengali school and after 12 this is interesting he studied in a madrasa he studied in a muslim school in patna there he learned about quran prophet muhammad and he studied sufism saints in the original text and from here he started disliking the caste system and that's why he also further in the future he discouraged the uh, orthodox hinduism and sanskrit okay so the thing is that he was a brahmin he was a brahmin and talking about such things during 1830s and 1840s takes a lot of courage okay so today is 2022 and we are not uh, even able to speak against our own community we if we are a hindu we cannot speak our own community hinduism if we are a muslim we cannot speak our uh, against our own community our own religion uh, muslim okay so at that period of time 1830s and 1840s he was speaking against his own religion being a Brahmin, I mean talking about hinduism talking about the orthodoxy of hinduism at that period of time was a courageous and bold step and that guts come through only education yes education is the chief defense of the nation and radha ram mohan roy's father even expelled him from his house for doing so radha ram mohan roy didn't stop there he read Buddhism after going to the Muslim school he started reading Buddhism and now you see Buddhism is a sign that he is now on a new level of consciousness every religion focuses on the metaphysical stuff and the existence of god but Buddhism discards everything Buddhism just realizes you to focus on your inner self to make yourself stronger from the inside Yes it makes the man stronger from inside rather than waiting for god allah bhagwan to come and rescue you start believing in yourself that is what buddhism all about that is an uh, only religion which does not believe in the existence of god okay so this uh, study of buddhism prepared him for the future and after that he studied sanskrit and he again uh, started gaining faith in hinduism so such a flexible and broad minded person he was weak minds do not want to change weak minds do not want to listen weak minds do not want to educate do not want to open themselves to other dimensions to other religions to other scriptures but he studied sanskrit at banaras he studied vedas upanishad he, he studied quran he studied christianity jainism and after that all these studies he joined east india company where he began his work he abolished sati pratha and establishes schools to teach the modern subjects like science mathematics political science english etc he founded atmiya samaj in 1815 and also started a bengali weekly called sambad komedi all these information are important from ugc net perspective okay he also started a persian newspaper named mritul akhbar another work is the pamphlet he wrote titled petitions against press regulations and then he went on to translate the abridged versions of vedas kenas katha upanishad and isha into bengali and english language uh, yes we have already talked that travels of dean sheik mohammad was the first english work uh, on the subject matter of indian indian subject matter okay uh, but you see raja ram mohan roy is the f- actually the first person who genuinely worked in favor of india and went on to translate hindu scriptures in english 
so that people will be able to know uh, the, the western countries will be able to know what hinduism all about what upanishads vedas are all about just for the indians he started translating the scientific works of english language into bengali so that bengali people can access the scientific knowledge in their own mother tongue so he is translating the works from english to the mother tongue that is interesting to know he was not the person who wanted to spread english language he wanted to spread the education be it any any in any language english english today is a linguistic power it is the most second used language in the whole world and that is why we are ahead of china in so many things because chinese don't know english and indians know that he even attacked britishers on the need of the existence of free press and yes britishers did listen to him and britishers did pass the press regulation act after listening to him so that was the pamphlet petitions against press regulation it was not easy for britishers to pass that press regulation but they did so in britain he also published a document titled expositions of the practical operation of the judicial and revenue system of india you see using the language of britishers english language he started writing against britishers who were exploiting india economically okay so you see whole his mind was towards the uh, improvement of indian languages indian education his whole mind was there to improve the indian education system okay so uh, he used to write autobiographical sketches also he expressed his disappointment towards the oppressive rules of colonizers okay so these are the first sort of writing which later helped the indians to know what the britishers are doing with the nation and you see these autobiographical sketches of raja ram mohan roy are sort of the first autobiographies okay the sort of first autobiographies so you can say that he was also an first autobiographical autobiographer of india and apart from being the first autobiographer you can say he is also seen as the first indian feminist who talked about the rights of female in his book brief remarks regarding modern enrichment on the ancient rights of females published in 1822 he talks about the pains of indian women and ways to remove the suffering caused to the indian women uh, he wanted women to breathe fresh air and he did so by banning uh, the the great sati pratha of that period of time with the help of britishers okay and his influence was there after his death also there was a group of college in calcutta in the hindu college calcutta who was highly influenced by raja ram mohan roy's writing and the mentor of that group was you can say uh, henry dorazio we are going to study this poet also in our upcoming uh, videos and this group of hindu college also started a magazine named pantheon henry dorazio and other people of this group used to write on such subject matters which raja ram mohan roy was already writing okay so we are going to discuss henry dorazio and other writers other poets in our upcoming videos if you find this video helpful then do not forget to like this video that will encourage me to create more such content for you i will see you in the next video that's it for this video thank you